Fox 31 Denver, News at 5. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Libby Weaver. And I'm Ron Zappolo. For the first time, a rescuer is taking us inside the frantic effort to save two snowmobilers trapped in an avalanche. Jordan and Tyler Lunst snowmobile turned into a family tragedy this weekend. Jordan survived the ordeal while crews found Tyler's body Monday night. Deborah Takahara is live in Loveland with this Fox 31 Denver exclusive. Deb. Ron, this is actually the snowmobile that one of the rescuers used to bring Jordan off of the mountain and to safety on Monday. That rescuer is close to the Lunst family and says these two young men were professionals. They were prepared and they just got caught in a terrible situation. Two ten mils. Lynn Felker has been involved in snowmobiling nearly all his life. On Sunday, he found himself in the middle of the search for Tyler and Jordan Lundstedt. The snow was very soft, very difficult to get through. Um, we started Sunday morning, uh, rode all day looking. Felker has worked with the Lundstedt family for years. In fact, he recognized their tracks in the snow and eventually their snowmobiles. And we followed the tracks into the, into the sleds. And when we found the sleds, I obviously knew the sleds. That's them. Felker and other members of the rescue team followed their footprints and finally found Jordan and then Tyler. I asked him if he could feel everything. He said he could feel his fingertips and his toes. He was doing pretty good at that time. He said that night before he'd lost feelings in his toes and he just started working himself. Got his heart rate up and he got his feeling back in his toes. Tyler didn't make it, even though his brother tried desperately to get to him in time. I know a lot of people that ride in this sport, and I would put them kids definitely up to like 90% bracket of being prepared and awareness, for sure. They have avalanche probes, beacons, the shovels, uh, radios, GPS. They are very prepared kids. Felker says the conditions are dangerous because of the lack of snow, but he says there are ways to stay safe. I would play in the metals, uh, basically uh, more flatter lands. Stay away from the hills. You can have just as much fun. People from all over the state have been calling the Felker shop here in Loveland all day long, wanting to help in some way. They have now set up a memorial fund for Tyler. It is at Security Service Federal Credit Union. We'll have that information on our website. They're also planning a benefit auction where they're going to auction off a brand new snowmobile worth more than $20,000 and provide that money to the Lunst family. We'll keep you posted on when that auction will take place. Reporting live from Loveland, Deborah Takahara, Fox 31 Denver. Yeah, and I think he made uh, he made some he gave us great advice Deb about stay away from those hills you can still have a lot of fun yeah you know what I spoke with some of the members of the Lentz family today and they were not ready to go on camera at this point but they did want us to get out information so that other people might learn from this and stay safe when they're up there okay Deb thanks for sharing that story well the series of avalanche deaths across Colorado has many people wondering how can they stay